This video will show you how to flatten a PyTorch tensor by using the PyTorch view operation. First, we start by importing PyTorch. Then we print the PyTorch version we are using. We are using PyTorch 0.3.1 post 2. Let's now create an initial PyTorch tensor for our example. We use torch.tensor and we pass in our data structure. You can see that it has one, two, three matrices and then each matrix has two rows and four columns. The numbers go from one to 24. We assign that result to the Python variable PT initial tensor X. Let's print the PT initial tensor X Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a PyTorch float tensor of size three by two by four. We see the three matrices and each matrix has two rows and four columns. And all the values are between one and 24 inclusive. When we flatten this PyTorch tensor, we'd like to end up with a list of 24 elements that goes from 1 to 24. To flatten our tensor, we're going to use the PyTorch view operation and the special case of negative number 1. So when we say whatever our tensor is, dot view negative 1, that means we want to flatten it completely. So when we pass in our Python variable PT initial tensor x, then we say dot view negative 1. We're going to have a flattened tensor and we're going to assign that to the Python variable PT flatten tensor X. Let's print out the PT flattened tensor X Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a PyTorch float tensor of size 24 and we see that it has all our numbers 1 all the way to 24. So before it was 3 by 2 by 4, now it's just size 24. And just to double check that our original tensor didn't change, we're going to print our original tensor to make sure the dot view negative one didn't do an in place reshaping of the original tensor. When we print it, we see that PT initial tensor X is still a three by two by four PyTorch float tensor that has internal matrices where each one has two rows and four columns. And we see our original 24 numbers. So it's still the same after the dot view operation. Perfect. We were able to flatten a PyTorch tensor by using the PyTorch view operation and the negative one.